What's up, guys? Just had a quick question. Uh, sent the DMs about help my tight hip flexors. So here we are. Jump on the Facebook and let's talk about it. So first thing, tight hip flexors. We need to think about what it is, why the hip flexors are tight, not just constantly addressing the tightness. So are you doing too much running? Are you doing too much uh, lifting or walking or too much sitting or standing in certain periods of time that you feel that the front of your hips, the hip flexors are tight? Then once you've thought about that process, let's talk about how we can take some a little bit of tension and alleviate the, the it's, uh, chronic hip flexor tightness. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to talk about the frequency, not intensity of a tight. So if the hip flexor is tight, it is not cranking on it as hard as possible infrequently. So doing something once every three days prior to an exercise or when you feel pain is not the solution. Doing something frequently as often as possible with tightness in a stretching right, it's going to be more beneficial. Let's think about how often I get into a position that stretches the hip flexor, not how hard I flex into that hip flexor. The most popular thing that we like to teach is a 90-90 position. So hanging out at 90-90. As you can see, the leg is straight up into the posture and we don't have an excessive push into the hip. Why is that bad? It's not really bad, but what we don't want to do is we don't want to take the femur, push it into the joint capsule excessively because we're not increasing uh, the result of the stretch as much as we are potentially damaging the joint. So we want to be straight up and down. Vertical, straight into the ribs with good posture. I'm not leaning, I'm not pushing. I'm squeezing this glute and I'm focusing on my breath. I'm gonna put that knee on the ground. I can switch, hang out 10 to 15 seconds and do it as often as possible. So I'm thinking like, for real, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times a day, wanna hang out in 90, 90 for 10 to 15 breaths and then move on. When you feel like you wanna get back into the kneeling, get back to the kneeling. Hang out in the kneeling as often as possible and you're gonna feel a difference, a huge difference in those hip flexors. Second thing, let's talk about the hip flexors. What are the hip flexors? The hip flexors are, right? We have the quad muscle. This guy is a hip flexor. Then we have actual hip flexors that you can't really see. And those do some of the action of the quad. So we wanna make sure the quad in the 90-90 is staying open and lengthened, lengthened. All these words are pretty much bullshit. Um, but there's something we can relate to. We want to tell the quad to open and we want to remind the hip flexor that this is where you can be, not force it into a position that it's not ready for, okay? Um, and then the next thing is a huge, 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 huge difference is talking about your breath. Since the hip flexors are closer towards your cavity, right? Using your breath and working on belly breathing can help take that tension away. The next thing I like to do a lot for my hip flexors is working on vacuums and work on my breath work with a vacuum. What is a vacuum? Vacuum, you know the Arnold Schwarzenegger, like the big pose and he's flexing and he's got like his belly sunk in. It's not because he was that skinny, it's because he literally practiced how to pull his belly button into his spine to create a vacuum, a hole to look more aesthetically pleasing. But this can also be super healthy for our posture and back pain and hip pain and Anytime we can practice breathing, we're doing good because we do it all the time, but we usually do it improperly. So you can do the breathing exercise from a kneeling position. Hold on, let me get naked. Right? Pull your belly button in. Try to create a small waist, like you're about to take a picture, suck that belly button in, maintain it, and now focus on your breath. Right? We're practicing vacuum, we're practicing on our breath. You can also do that from a hands and knee position. Pull the belly button in without changing posture. You'll feel the inside of your hips and the inside of your ribs. You'll feel some, um, what is the tone of the muscles change. Um, 
that will be a big, big, big help with those hip flexors. Frequency, not intensity. Remember that you can't crank on a muscle to try to get it to be stretched. You want to be in a happy, good breathing position. Your breath and frequency are more important than the intensity. I'm out. <laughs>